All right, we're doing a tutorial today on how to fill out the activity log. So you'll be getting an email with the activity log in it, and I'm going to show you what that looks like right now. So within my mail, I have the activity log. It comes from me, and it's right here. What you're going to want to do is you're going to want to download that, and that's going to show up probably in your downloads or desktop folder. You just have to know where that is. There's a couple things that we're going to do with it. The first thing you're going to do with it is you're going to open it up and upload it to your OneDrive. So I went back to my portal and I clicked on OneDrive. I don't have a lot of uh, files in this OneDrive. Uh, you might have more. That's okay. What I want to do is I just want to make sure that I am sort uh, sorting them by modified newer to older. And my newest ones will be at the top. Folders first and then all of my docs right here. I am going to, in my OneDrive, upload that file I just downloaded. So I'm going to go upload a file. I'm going to look for it in my downloads folder, and there it is, my state mandated attendance log. I'm going to go ahead and open that right here. Okay, there it is, right there. The first thing I'm going to do is this needs to be personalized for you. So. In OneDrive, I'm going to come and highlight, just have, hover my mouse over here until it underlines, and these three dots will show up. I am going to click on those and rename this file. The guidelines that we're having you do it is your last name, and if you have a class, put your grade level. If you have more than one class, like secondary does, put your period. So this is going to be Covington period one. Okay. I'm going to save that rename and right here now you see it's Covington period one. I'm going to click on that to open it. It will open right here in my browser which is what I want. Okay. So here is the log. There are a couple different things about this log that are special. The first one is there are only certain fields that you're going to be able to click in. Uh, you'll be able to change teacher name, class period, and all these areas right in here. Okay. So the first thing we're going to want to do is we're going to want to put in our teacher name. Uh, I'm going to put Covington Tom. Class period. I'm going to say I am teaching English, and this is period one. Actually, let's say English ten, period one. Okay. Those are done. Uh, I have to decide what days I want my office hours to be. I'm just going to fill that in real quick. Tuesday. And my time on Tuesday is going to be 10 a.m. to 12 p.m. Okay. I need to put a.m. and p.m. after that or it might look like something different. Uh, the other day I want to do is Thursday. And Thursday I'm going to be available a little bit later. 1 to 3 p.m. Okay. So my office hours are done. I'm finished with that. Now this area over here is for my students. And I want to put them. It's one cell. And I want to list them with their first and last name. But I want to go last, comma, first. Okay. So this will be in alphabetical order. You can just type in your roster. If you have a lot of classes and you want to download a roster from Illuminate. The best one to use for this, and I've went through many of them, and this one is available to everybody. It is going to be the class roster for posting. If you download that in Excel, it'll come right in here very quickly. If you only have a few kids and you just want to type them in, by all means, type them in. But if you have six classes, and they all have different kids in them, you might want to do that. I have downloaded that class roster for one of my classes. And I will show you what that looks like right now. I went in and I downloaded this one. And this is what it looks like right here. This is a class roster. This is for Mary Ellen Daners. It was the first one I came up against. And these are this is the column we want right here. So if I select this column and shift and select the last one, okay, I clicked on the top, I push shift, I clicked on the bottom, and then I'm just going to come in here and right click, copy. I can hit control C if I want. I just want to copy that information. 
Okay. Once I do that, I'm done with the roster. I can come back to my browser that has my Covington period one. This is my attendance log. And I can click on this first box and just control V paste it. This is what it does. It puts all of my students in here alphabetically from first to last. Now, some of us might have extras at the bottom. Don't worry about that. So I have all my students in. There will be a separate tutorial on getting your roster from Illuminate if you want it. If not, and you're fine typing your names in, go ahead, type it in, it's fine. What we're gonna have you do is we're gonna have you tell us what kind of um, contact you made with that student that day. Was it through email or Class Dojo or Teams or Remind or a phone call or through Flipgrid, whichever one of these you wanna use. Let's say I put a message out to my parents on Class Dojo. What I can do is click into this box for April 13th and then click Class Dojo, that's CD right here, and it'll automatically change into a Class Dojo marking. You can tell it's changed because it's blue. Now let's say I did a Class Dojo for all my kids that day. Well, if I hover in the lower quadrant over here, it's the bottom right corner, and my cursor changes from this into a plus, a thin plus like that, I can just drag this down, and it will copy that information into every single student. And I can just click and drag that bottom. If at any time I need to change it, I can just go in and either manually change it, say I had to call that student because Gabriel's parents aren't on my dojo. I can go back and change that at any time too. Okay, the next day, let's say I uh, sent an email out to those students. I'm gonna click email, and then I'm going to pull down as far as I'd like. Now, if I want to, I can just click on there and type in EM for that student and then hit return or enter and that'll it'll register that right here however you want to do it is easiest for you i can drag this all the way down like i did the other one and it's going to just copy all the way down to the bottom uh, the next day i did a flipgrid so i'm going to go ahead and put flipgrid here and i only had a couple students that actually did the flipgrid so i'm going to have to reach out to some students differently but it's easy to navigate, it's easy to select. Uh, if I say I made a mistake and put Flipgrid there, I can just hit the blank spot and it'll turn blank again. This row over here is for additional comments. If you have any notes that you want to write down, uh, wasn't, uh, how about didn't reply, on Thursday. Can't spell today. Okay, follow up Friday. Perfect. Put whatever you want in there. This will expand. You'll be able to see all this at all times. Okay. Once I've taken uh, attendance for this week, I can come down here uh, on the sheets. There's the next week down here, and I can click in there. Now, what I've done in this spreadsheet is these areas right here, your name, your period, all the students, and your office hours, all copy from this first tab. So if you change it, you have to come back to this tab to change it, okay? But everything you type in this first tab will be copied. All these names, your name, and your office hours are all gonna get transferred to all the other sheets. So all you have to do is type it once. We have enough weeks down here to last us through the end of the year. Hopefully it won't take that long to come back, but they're there just in case. And all my students will be there under every single week that I have. Once again, I just click in, talk about how I got to those students, how I contacted that students, where I put my activities that day, and I am done. So the last thing we need to do with this whole thing is we need to share this with our site admin. So to do that, I'm gonna come up here to share and I'm gonna click on that button. It's gonna open a dialogue and it says, where do you wanna send that link? And I wanna send it to my site admin. Once I start typing it, it's gonna be there. 
and I'm going to click on it. If you have more than one site admin, I know the high school and the middle schools do, ask who they want you to send it to. If it's one of them, if it's all of them, the thing that's going to prevent their inbox or their OneDrive from being flooded is the fact that you changed your name on yours when we saved it in OneDrive. Okay. So once I'm done with that, I'm going to hit this send button and it's going to send him an email saying, Tom shared this with you, just like it will when you share it with your admin, they'll get a link that says your teacher has shared their uh, activity log with you. This just makes it so that at the end of the week, the logs can be reviewed by your site admin to make sure that they're getting filled out and to make sure we're getting contact because this is the new way uh, they're going to be counting ADA for us. I know this has been a long video. Uh, I made the video so that you can pause it, you can rewind, and you can go over steps again and again. It might take a couple times, and honestly, if it's taking, if it's too frustrating for you to um, get these names and paste them in, all you have to do is type your roster once, and it will go ahead and fill on the rest of them. If you're having any trouble with this, or if you need help at any time, uh, myself and the rest of the Tosas are always available to help you out. Just send us an email message. We'll get on Teams with you. We'll uh, start a meeting, and we'll go through it, and we'll solve all this together. This is new for everybody. We appreciate your support in this uh, for the next however long we're going to be distance learning. And we appreciate your hard work. And please remember, we are here to support you as much as we can. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I hope it was useful to you. And like I said, anytime you need me, just give me a, an email. I'll be right there.